everything from fashion beauty luxury to lifestyle in today's video as you can tell by the title i am going to just be talking about dupes for spring summer um the hot spring summer trends or spring summer shoes that are going to be coming into play and these are going to be basically be the look for less because you know we are all about affordable luxury here on this channel but before we get started, if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you have not hit the notification bell yet, you might want to go ahead and make sure you do that too because you don't want to miss when I am uploading these videos. And of course, if you have not been commenting, do that and make sure you are sharing my videos and just make sure that the YouTube just kind of keeps me growing here on this platform and it's all about what you guys do to make that happen. But other than that, we are now going to just go ahead and just jump right into the video. So as I mentioned before in my previous video, uh, we are kind of just in this phase of just talking about like spring, summer shoes, thumbs, you know, a lot of these shoes that are dupes, or a lot of the shoes that you're going to kind of just be bringing back and working back into your wardrobe for the spring and summer season. And I have a couple dupes here. So as you can tell by the title, one is going to be a dupe for the Gucci Prince Town loafers which is just a classic timeless shoe that honestly can be worn all year round but i tend to break mine out more the spring i would say the spring months sometimes summer but i would say mostly spring and fall um and then of course the dior d-way slides i have a found a really to me a really nice dupe for those if you are open to uh this particular style of shoe so let me go ahead and just kind of just show you what i got so as we all know, the Dior D-Way slides, they retail, I want to say, for around like $700. And not all of us have $700 to spare on a slide. I don't personally own that shoe. I'm not in a place yet where I am out here spending $700 on shoes yet. Yet. But I'm getting there. Uh, but anywho, I did find a dupe. Unfortunately, you, always, you guys know there's always like some kind of caveat. The actual shoe didn't fit me. So I really was bummed about it because I was so pumped. But I'm like, okay, before I return this shoe, should I go ahead? Should I tell them about the dupe or should I bring it up still? I'm going to bring it up because I really think it's still a really good option. So it's actually about the brand BB. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with BB. They were really hot, I would honestly say, maybe back in like early 2000s. That's when you really was catching people with BB dresses on. They even had like a BB store where everybody would go to get like their homecoming or club dresses, depending on how risque you are, because some of the stuff was a little more, you know, just a little more, you know, the word I'm looking for. But yeah so i was like okay well i haven't seen anything from this brand in a while so i was shopping at nordstrom rack and i was not looking for these but when i seen them i automatically just thought of dior d way slide so let me go ahead and kind of just show you what they look like i'm just curious to see them and here they are guys aren't they just so flipping cute i love this shoe and i'm really bummed that they did not fit i ordered these in a size 10 and sometimes they you know i can get away with a 10 they didn't have anything bigger and i honestly would have went bigger but i just thought i would chance it let's pull out the other one and this is it so i will post up a picture of the most similar to this particular style of shoe here but i just thought this was super duper cute and granted yes it does say bb going across the front if you are a person that doesn't like that i get it but it's still the look for less and i just think the shoe is just so cute of course i am going to post some mod shots of how they look on me again guys they are too small so i can't do anything with them but I just think they are just super duper cute. And maybe I won't return them. If you guys are interested, maybe I'll do a giveaway for these. If you guys are thinking it, I would honestly say if this is for maybe if you have a smaller size 10 or if you're like borderline size 10, like 9, 10, this will be for you. But if I get enough feedback, if you send me a comment, I may go ahead and just give these away because, again, you guys have been showing me so much love. And I didn't even think about doing that, but I think they're just so cute. And they were such a good option. And when I tell you that, I think the price on these was only 
around maybe like $20 or $25, somewhere they were under $25. So that was another thing that really made me just jump at these. I just really think they're just super cute. Um, You know, we slides are in for the season. It kind of has like this baby pink with like a hint of like gold and it has the green with the black. It even has a level like of, you know, padding right here. So it's not just all the way flat. Um, again, I don't own the D or D way slide, but I really think this is a great, 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 great alternative for these. So this is kind of like a reveal slash, you know, if you're interested, let me know. I think this shoe was absolutely cute. It's just cute. It's just really, really cute for spring. Um, again, even going into the summer months, you really can break these out, even fall, because it kind of has a hint of like the fall coloring, you know, they're not super bright in your face. Oh, I just really wish I could fit these guys. So this is the first two that I kind of want to compare um, to that particular slide. Again, I have not tried it on, so don't come for me, y'all. I don't have the slide, but I know I, that that's a very popular shoe. So I wanted to just show you guys an alternative for that sandal if you were interested or in the market for some. Okay, and then the next item, of course, is by Coach. And guys, Coach has been that girl coach and i didn't know if i was going to separate the coach portion of this video out or leave it in now this particular shoe i'm going to say is a coach actual this is the sophie leather slide and they tend to kind of always have these now these actually are in a size 10. i had to break them in a little bit because i wasn't 100 percent comfortable with how they fit but they, again they didn't have anything bigger than a size 10 when i ordered them so I did go ahead and I picked these up from the Coach Outlet. I did unbox um, these. I don't remember when, sometime last year. I can't remember y'all. The time is just, it's just going guys. We're already into April and I got, and I'm behind y'all. So, but I wanted to kind of show you this. And this is an alternative to the Gucci Prince Town Loafer. And that's these slides right here. As you can see, I have really been wearing them. These shoes definitely have been put to good use. I'll even insert pictures of me wearing them um this is one of those shoes that is just like a staple i feel like everybody needs some type of loafer slide type of shoe in their collection and right now i think gucci had a price increase recently and these shoes are almost 800 dollars before tax or, or are they over 800 don't quote me on pricing i'll put it somewhere either in the description box or you know you'll see it on the screen but yeah those shoes went up and honey these when i tell you how much i pay for these in comparison to that now of course they're not 100 percent the same but they are incorporating a lot of the springs trends that we will be seeing this year um for starters chains on shoes are in this definitely does have this really cute linked type of chain um, this color here, which to me is the perfect neutral color. Uh, so a lot of people think black. I honestly think that cream is a little more neutral than black in, a, in certain occasions. And this is more of that off-white cream color. And I feel like the Gucci version of this style of shoe, it leans a little more white, if I'm not mistaken. I don't have that shoe. I am in the market for something. I'm not going to lie. Because I think that since this is a closed-toe shoe, and it's a slide in. That's that's my judge, y'all. I'm I'm a slide in girl. You start to notice that I am not really a whole shoe person. I've come to terms and realized that unless it's a sneaker or something. But if it's like a casual shoe, I typically just like to be able to slide in my shoes and go. Um, the leather on these are amazing. So again, these are just Coach makes really good quality things anyway. Coach has been that girl lately. But yeah, so I think these are really, really just nice. They have like um, this Curtis tan, you know, leather on the inside. And the quality overall is just a really great, it's just really good quality. I don't, have not had any issues out of this shoe. There is some scuffing as you can kind of see in the front. But again, I think I, I paid around what, $75 for these on sale. And I wear these shoes all the time. Like, I mean, all the time, y'all. It's, it's crazy how much I wear these shoes. And I really feel like they are holding up quite well for the amount of times that I've worn them, the cost per wear. And of course, for all my ladies out there that aren't trying to break the bank, you still want something a little more elevated and nice because um, these are still leather and they're just a great alternative. But like I said, I understand if you do just, you know, want to get the Gucci because the Gucci's are cute. I do like those and I, I probably will invest into some of those. 
eventually because I just really see that. I really see myself getting a lot of wearing out of those. But other than that, yes. Yeah. So I wanted to just kind of highlight some of the styles that are in. Um, you know, you can't go wrong with a loafer going into spring because, again, they're just easy. They elevate a look. You can throw them on with sweatpants and just to elevate a look with jeans or you can just put them on with something a little more uh dressy casual like a pair of slacks so i think this is just one of those shoes that everybody should have in their collection some variation of them and again they're just again a dupe for a very very high end <laughs> price point and it kind of really allows you to like step into the uh style and fashion of that look without breaking the bank so hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. Again, this is kind of kind of wrap up my shoe end of the series. I just went ahead and decided to combine them. But if this video was helpful to you, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Of course, you guys know I always answer you guys. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching the video, sticking around if you made it to the end. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.